Hey guys, for sure here. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you a quick fix that could potentially fix your iPhone if you're getting the error message 4013 or error code 9 or 4005. Now, these are error messages you usually get when you try to update your phone, especially if it went on a boot loop or you know it doesn't turn on for you. Here I have iPhone 10 and recently I updated to iOS 16, and after that, it would just boot loop and would not even restore when I use iTunes. I tried it multiple times on different computers, different charger, all the typical troubleshooting until I had to go ahead and open up the phone. So this does require you to open up the phone. Here I use the iFixit toolkit. If you wanna check out the link, I'll put it in there, but you can use any tool that helps you open up the iPhone. So this is the iPhone 10 on iOS 16. Like I mentioned, upgraded from iOS 14 to 16 and somehow some issue happened and I thought, you know, there was some motherboard issue, but it turns out that if you open up the phone here, of course, you need to open up here and then pull up the screen. So if you wanna see how to open up iPhone 10, look at that video, but basically you'll open it up. And once you open it up, what you'll need to do with your phone is Take this cover off, so there's five different screws for the Y triple uh, zero one, and you'll take this cover off, so it'll be right here, right? So you'll take this cover off, so these screws, like five of them, and then you'll take this one off. Now, once you take this one off, what will happen is you'll have access to the flex cable for your uh, front sensors, like your face ID, microphone, and camera as well. So this cable runs here through up here and then right in right about here you'll see this cable right here which is like right in the middle between these two not the first one but the second one right here so this cable is the flex cable that connects it here and if you have a faulty one which i suspect this iphone has somehow has a faulty face id sensor flex cable going on there you just need to disconnect this and once you disconnect it the phone still will work fine so you can still turn on the phone you'll, you'll be pro you need to put the phone in recovery mode if you didn't and then go ahead and try to update the phone and your phone should update and you should be able to get back into your phone like i was able to do here which Again, it's really simple. The update, I had to do it twice. So first time it gave me an air nine, air code nine from a 4013, which I mentioned in the beginning. It went to an air nine and then I updated again and then it worked all of a sudden. So it seems to be one of the hidden issues going on with the iPhone 10 specifically. Might affect other phones as well. I don't know exactly which other models are affected, but I want to share with you. After you update, of course, like I mentioned, Face ID won't work, your front camera won't work, and the speaker up top won't work until you replace it. So probably the real fix is getting the whole flex thing or figuring out which one it is. But this will at least let you get into your phone and hopefully help you guys if you're having this issue like I was for some time. So again, I hope this video is helpful. Like I said, go ahead and try to disconnect that flex cable right here. And then once you do that, and then updated and that should be at least a good indication for the most part i think maybe about 80 to 90 percent of the phone might be experiencing this exact problem if you get into boot loop with your iphone 10 or any other model to try out if you have the case if you have like the tools to try it out but if not um let me know if you guys found a better solution to it as well i want to hear from you guys and i hope this video was helpful if so please make sure the like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys and next time